Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Friday morning. Get ready for our daily bread. Get ready to have me a little smoothie. That look good. I thought it was carrots at first, but that's mighty mango. Get ready to take my vitamin and let me hurry up and do that right quick and get on with the word. Y'all, I'm a little tired this morning. I ain't gonna, I ain't joking with you. I ain't gonna kid you at all. Oh, it rained last night. Oh, and I'm gonna have a, a yoga, y'all. Remember, I told y'all get you some of that yoga, ladies. Get some of that yeast out of it. Okay, let me get on with the daily bread. Okay, this is May the 25th. Happy Friday. All right. The world is too much with you, my child. Your mind leaps from problem to problem to problem, tangling your thoughts in anxious knots. When you think like that, you leave me out of your worldview, and your mind becomes darkened. Though I yearn to help, I will not violate your freedom. I stand silently in the background of your mind, waiting on you to remember that I am with you. When you turn from your problems to my presence, your load is immediately lighter. Circumstances may not have changed, but we carry your burdens together. Your compulsion to fix everything gives way to deep, satisfying connection with me. Together, we can handle whatever this day brings. Thank you, Jesus, for being with me. You know, we're not even going to no details. We're going to get right on these scriptures. Okay, first we're going to go to Isaiah 41 and 10. That's Isaiah 41 and 10 reads, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am that God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Hallelujah. Okay, now we're going to go to Zephariah 3 and 17. Y'all, I ain't even going to kid you. It took me to forever to find Zephariah. I was like, well, maybe it's missing out my Bible. I ain't kidding. I was like, I was going from page to page just looking and I could barely find it, but I did. Okay, we're going to go to 317, and it reads, The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love and will joy over thee with singing. I'm listening to me some music. I'll be if you left me. Where would I be mm -mm, if he left me? Okay, now we're going to go to Psalm 34 and 19. Psalm 34 and 19. And it reads, many are, many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. See what I'm saying? Everything there is just self-explanatory. I'm going to say it again, y'all. God is good. He is so good. He is so good. Oh, Lord. But like he said, he's not going to invade your freedom. You're free to choose to do whatever it is you want to do. And I do not choose to lose. Okay? Anything that's outside of Jesus, outside of God, that you put first, that's losing. I don't choose to lose. I got to keep him first. Like I said, I'm not perfect. But I tell you what, I'm striving to be. I want to be like him. And I ain't going to let nothing come in between that relationship. God talks to me. He send me messages like scriptures will pop up on my phone or somebody will confirm something. You know what I'm saying? It's just so good to know that he is in your presence. He's there with you. I can be going through whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then something will just pop or a person will call on the phone or Oh, it's just amazing to know I have that connection. If no one else loved me, which is some people here on this earth love me too. I do got family. They love me and they know I love them. And I tell you, just to know you have the creator. You have Jesus up on your side. I'm telling you, please, y'all, come to him. Repent next, God, to forgive you for your sins. Like I said, it don't matter what you're going through. It don't matter what you have done. It don't matter. He loves you just the way you are. 
trust me, with his touch, oh, you will become righteous. You will be able to do the, the things that he wants you to do. It's not, it's not hard at all. It's not that hard. But I think this world, me dealing with this world without him, it just wouldn't work. It ain't going to work. I cannot live without him. I refuse. I, I don't want to go my way. I don't want to do things my way. When I do things my way and listening to other people, oh, honey, you will be going astray. Stay focused on Jesus. He'll take care of you. Now, I'm going to get out of here. I got things I got to do today. And uh, love you. And y'all have a blessed and wonderful day now. Hey. Mm. Bye now. <laughs>